Yes, hi. Um, I play Greta Lowen in Women Talking. And my name's Judith Ivey, and I play Agatha. Some uh, women in a colony have um, been assaulted in the night. They've been horse tranquilized. They've been assaulted. Their, their children have been assaulted. Their grandchildren have been assaulted. Two men have been identified. Nine men have been arrested. It, this is a fable based on a very true story of this actual event in 2008. And, but the fable is, um, is a ticking clock. The women of the colony, nine women of the colony, have been chosen to uh, decide whether to stay and fight, uh, stay and do nothing so they get into the kingdom of heaven or leave the colony. And they have 48 hours while the, the rest of the men are, have gone to post bail. So that, that the tension of that timeline um, uh, informs the entire film. So we're in the hayloft and um, women talking ensues. <laughs> I think Sarah has this heightened, very sophisticated, complicated um, understanding of what it is to be human. And uh, she, uh, ex we, we all experience that through her respect that she extends to everybody she works with. It's, it's extraordinary. And so the sensitivity of this subject matter uh, not only from a woman's point of view, but from uh, a human's point of view, uh, oh. is why she should be at the helm. Mm -hmm. Every day was like being at the Olympics. I mean, we were shooting 12 hours a day. The bar was set very high by Sarah Pauly, and there was an expectation on set every day, all day long, to bring your A game. So I just was... And, uh, I would just go home and watch as bad TV and eat chocolate at night and just not want to talk to anybody. And it was um, the hardest and most rewarding project I've ever been part of. I mean, to be working with all of these people, the crew included, like, you know, everybody was top of the food chain. It was incredible. Yeah, the care. Oh, everybody yeah. cared so deeply. Mm -hmm. And that went into every take. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, yeah. everyone uh, was, mm -hmm. the true devotion was astounding mm -hmm. um, and, and contagious. Mm -hmm. You know, if you were having a bad day, you mm -hmm. still st stepped up to the plate and, yeah. and, and hit at least a second base, you know, <laughs> because um, mm -hmm. the, everyone around you was doing that. Mm -hmm. For me, the moment stood out, and this just tells you how collaborative Sarah Pauly is. I, we shot my assault scene with my teeth and the blood, and, and, and I said to Sarah the next day, I should have made my bed. And she went, oh, oh. And two and a half months later, on the very last day of shooting, everyone had gone home. Sarah and I were there at the very end. She came into my trailer and said, do you want to make your bed? And they put the set back together and she gave me credit for this the crew were all on side it was a, it was a big she did not have to do this and um, we reshot the scene and I made my bed <laughs> I want them to take away what they need I think there are enough themes that uh, are looped and woven through the piece that it will be individual, and I think Sarah has made all of it accessible. So uh, uh, when they get what they need, I think life changes.